Southwestern Ontario, London for this year's Continental Cup of Curling. Our week in London comes to a close tonight with the Continental Cup still up for grabs. Plus four. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Canada and the U.S. are just seven points from securing yet another title. With three sheets in play, every shot in every end is important as the skins competition continues. So can North America make it six straight or will the world bring an end to the dominant straw 11 Continental Cup is next. If you want to know where the action is in London, Ontario, it's usually here at the Western Fair Sports Centre. Four sheets of hockey ice, the standard bread track off in the distance. It's all happening here, and it has been for four days of Continental Cup curling. As we say, hello, Canada. Welcome back to London, our final evening. Cheryl Russell alongside. So today, it's all about skins play, and we had a wonderful game earlier today. Mark Kennedy against Oscar Erickson. And what a shot here by Kennedy. Well, he had a lot of support up front during this entire game, but when he had to make the big ones, he did. This one for the win. With his teammate, Ben Heber, and then a couple of players, Leslie Wilson, Kate Cameron for Michelle Englott, they look very impressive. John Schuster, the American representative, in a game against Peter De Cruz, this one comes down to a draw to the button for the final point. It looks like it's long all the way down. They just carried this thing watching it, and all of a sudden stopped the time. If Schuster got in the Olympics today he might be the favorite he, they're hot well he didn't think it was going to stop and look at the reaction as he picks up the full point Nina Roth the American representative in Pyeongchang from Wisconsin again going to the draw to the button for the last point against Satsuki Fujizawa and this one will just go that little bit too far as Fujizawa does pick up the uh, full point and so now heading into a final night of skins play, North America leads it by two. Of course, it's the race to 30 and a half points. And our uh, feature will be Brad Kuju against Thomas Ulsrud. Kuju, I said, I saw him when he came back from the uh, mixed doubles that you look so tired. And he said, I am. I wouldn't blame him. He said, look, I just want to go to bed for a while. No kidding, and, and it's not just the, all the games, it's that mental, you know, they thought they were going to win the trials, did gut close. He's a shot or two away from going to the Olympics the second time around in the mixed trials. He has to be just burnt out mentally more than anything. But like any good athlete, you can't wait to get off that uh, back on that horse and win again. And that's what he's done this week. He's really come with a lot of energy, which is hard to believe. If he can simplify this skins game, which is hard to do against Holzer, he'll win this game. In the background there, you may have seen a very uh, happy and smiling Thomas Olsrud in their team photo, but he's not smiling right now. They are not playing very well. So as a coach, would you be concerned with this uh, Norwegian team heading towards the Olympics? You know, I don't think so. If this was a young team heading to their very first Olympics, they'd definitely be concerned, but that's the value of experience. You can draw on all the success you've had and you can shrug off a struggling weekend and remember what you've done and how to do it again. So when we come back, that is our feature, Guju against Ulsrud on this final night of the World Financial Group Continental Cup in North America leads it by two points. The 2018 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2018 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts by Ford of Canada. Proud partner with Curling Canada for over 20 years. And by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. So it's a night of skins play. It's a full women's team, uh, Holman against Tiranzoni, both of course going to the Olympics. Kevin Cooey, Nicholas Adeen are skipping a mixed game and we'll identify the players on those teams when we go there for highlights. But it is Guju against Ulzrud as it's time to meet the team. Talking by Home Hardware. 
here's how. Thomas Schulz route from the Snellen Curling Club in Oslo with uh, Hobart Van Pedersen, Christopher Swa, and Torger Nergord. The reigning Canadian and world champions, Brad Gouju from the Bally Haley and Remax Center in St. John's, Jeff Walker, Brett Gallant, and Mark Nichols rounding out the team. North America, that's Gouju, has won the draw to the button, so he will have the last rock here in this first end, and the skin is worth half a point. He'll play the Yellowstones, World will play the Red, and uh, with that last rock, you have to score at least two points to pocket the points. Hovard Van Pedersen to get us underway. Yeah, you just, it's a, it's a the age old debate. You, would you rather uh, steal one or score two? And in our game with Kennedy, it was, you're better to steal. Mark made a couple of uh, skins, but with two incredible shots, but uh, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. Well, and I think it's that tactic of throwing the two center guards up. And then if the opposition doesn't open up quick enough. He saw Oscar kind of switch gears after the first couple ends and he started to really try to open up the front and make some room for himself. It just gets too tough. Obviously a very intense Thomas Olds route here. He, uh, he lives for this event. He's always done well in this event or close at least. And they've just shown up and uh, lost everything here so far. So they're, they're really going to grind in this game. So each of these games is worth five points. And this is how we'll divide it up. One through six are worth half a point. And then seven and eight are worth a full point in the race to 30 and a half. And right now it's a two point lead. For Team North America, they sit at 23 and a half. It's funny, you look when teams have a weekend that they struggle because uh, Alstron's teams have a decent year. They just uh, lost the semi in Perth to Nicholas Adin. Um, they're going to go to the slam, and so you wonder what you have to do to fix it. But a lot of times it's either overtraining or over traveling or playing too many events that really does it. I like what you said in the opening too. Is there a veteran team, and they're not going to overthink it? You know, look at look at the golf tour. You know, you can see a Phil Mickelson missed the cut two weeks in a row, and he goes back and wins an event. Like, you know, they're all humans out there, and uh, you just can't let it get to your uh, confidence. No. It's close. Yep. Top Tubby. twelve, Tubby. Yep. Line. Yep. Top twelve, Tubby. Hard. Hard. Tubby. Hard. Hard. For Nichols line. Gallant. Hard, Mark. On this hard. second stone hard. by Gooshu Lee, Jeff hard. Walker. Really hard. Hard. Got to get it by here though, oh. and it'll rub and roll and just catch the top of the twelve. So here's how you play skins. Eight ends, thirty minutes, one timeout. If you have the last rock. As Guju does, you have to score at least two. Team without, though, can steal with a point. If Guju just carries, scores one point, then we're going to carry over and you lose the hammer on a blank. So it's all about the offense here. And then if we get to the eighth, then we carry over, we would have a draw to the button for that final point or points. And that's what we had in two of the games this afternoon. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, 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 I'm playing better now, but it doesn't work that way. No, it really doesn't. I think it's just a little bit of uh, communication with the team. You come off the ice, say, look, we, if we just made that one double, if the other guy hadn't made that run back, you know, it's, it, you're, it's not like you're playing bad curvers out here. You're playing the best in the world. So it's easy to lose a two or three in a row at, at this level. And he, okay, that he acknowledged that, Cheryl, in saying that everybody is getting better. It's not as if it was, you know, five. Ten years ago, where he was that much better than everyone else, the world has caught up, and I say the world, the rest of the curling world, and he hasn't really gone that extra bit to stay above them. So his game has to improve. 
Yeah, it's, it, that's a little bit of that complacency that a lot of top teams struggle with. You know, you get to the top, you have all that success, and what drives you to stay there? And, you know, for some teams, that's an internal thing. We've talked about Jennifer Jones' team. They kind of push each other. So what's pushing this team to get better and try new things? And, and all the, I, Mark Kennedy said it. He goes, every time we step out every year, there's all these teams have improved mm -hmm. on every part of their game. So let's take a look at the keys to the game. We'll start with Thomas Olsrud. Well, for Thomas, it, you know, it's been a struggle this week. He's 78% himself, which is really unusual. And I think the focus has been more on his pants and his shot making. So turn that <laughs> around. <laughs> and then, you know, the crowds. You said it, Russ. He loves to play in Canada. He loves the skins format. He loves the crowds. And he can definitely play off them and get that momentum. Brett Galland. Yep. Go. No. Clean. Just off the line. Clean. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good yep. shot. And he'll get them both. And the keys for Brad Guju. Well, I think he already knows this, but leave some room. That's what just happened there. He let Gallant make that double rolled open. He's got a corner guard on both sides. He's got it open. He can score. That's the play to play skins. You don't have to go crazy, especially when you've got Mark. Mark Nichols, 11% better than Torger at the third position. That could be the key. Keys to the game brought to you by World Financial Group. Helping Canadians have better financial futures. And here is Torger. Torger Nergord. We were lucky enough to play in a ton of skins games way back when, and back then there weren't a lot of rocks in play in, in a normal game, so a, a team like ours that was aggressive, we did well, but eventually it got so complicated. Rocks everywhere, and you don't have to do that to score, and I, I like what Gushu's doing here. Just you know, run this one back, keep it open. He's got a chance to A, score, A, get the carry over, or one little slip up, he gets his deuce. The shots aren't as hard. No, and I think that has that's how the skins game has evolved as it went from everybody going right to the mm -hmm. forefoot and there was nothing, no shots, to people going, hey, we really don't have to do that. We can open it up, play a tick. Yep. Hard. 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 Right to the nose, Whoa. run it back, stick it right there. And it is the shot rock, eating two for the skin. There you go. They're hitting everything in sight, and there's the deuce. Well, I think especially against Thomas, uh, you know, he loves the touch shots. That's really his strength. He'll wire one around a couple guards and you'll have no shots. So to keep it a little bit more open and give yourself sight lines of the forefoot, big advantage. The sleeves almost match the pants. Cheryl. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's coordination. It's so oh, you bet. No, that's not. Oh, uh, yes. That's a mistake. Patterson, Spock. By one, and not going to get by this one, but will it? Spin in, no. So still shot rock belongs to uh, Guju, needing two for the half point available. I think we got to make a play on that, though. I think yeah. so, too. Here. Board. Be a little fresh. Gotta make sure we roll enough, to not, not leaving the double. Yeah. Even oh. rolling too far is probably better. Yeah, I agree. Where do we? A little fresh here. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna need. If to anything, yep. Board. Yeah, Torger left that in a spot that it, Gushu team has to deal Whoa. with. All board right now. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh. Never. Oh, Never, guys. Uh oh. Oh, this Double. Is stick it. Stick Never. it. Stick it. I want to try and get it under this. Hard, hard, hard. Ah. And he Sorry, may have guys. moved that stone okay. to bring the uh, world stone into play. As we go over to uh, the mixed game, North America against the world, and it is.
Kevin Cooey, Michelle Englot, Brent Lang, and Renora Westcott, who are sitting the one two. Final stone on the way for Nicholas Adin, playing with Sarah McManus, Marcus Verano, and Agnes Nockenhauer. So right now it's a stolen half point. Verano. Nockenhauer. Nockenhauer and McManus. Play with Anna Hasselborg, and he's going to come up light, and it's going to be the steal of that first point, first half point, going to Cooey in North America. This is the same spot that Mark Nichols ran. Draws doing the same thing, it's just not curling. Four feet more, three feet, three feet more. Yeah, he's had a good event. Yeah, he really has. It's uh, lost that game to Nicholas Adin, but uh, Adin curled 96 yeah, percent. Oh, I know. <laughs> and Oscar Erickson, the third was 91 percent. Yeah, it's, it's back eight. Can't control your opponent once in a while. And Guzzi didn't he turn to the bench and say, "Not going to beat him tonight." No, exactly. No, 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 there was just no chance, and they played so well. Back yeah, this is kind of similar to the sheet we did this afternoon where this left-hand side of the center line just doesn't come over. Great weight. Now the redstone. That belongs to uh, Silvana Tiranzoni from Arau in Switzerland. She is the Swiss Olympian. Now can you... Get around somehow, or is she going to run something back? This could be dangerous. You're, you're right. Yeah, There's a pile of yellow there. They're trying to go red straight back and stick it. Wow. For the two, right now it's a carryover. Here in Zoni, the 38 year old, into three world championships representing Switzerland. She plays Rachel Holman. Run it back. Oh, goodness. That's why she's been to three world championships. <laughs> Brilliant. To take the first half point. She's not taking very much ice here. The draws haven't moved very much. Thomas Holsrud and his last spa on the brush and across the nose and they'll sit there one two and three so nothing left but to draw the uh, the button to force a carry over very nice the right weight on that spot seeing so many come down there and not do anything didn't overthrow it well if confidence is uh, ice reading as well then that's a pretty good start for uh, i'm thinking for rules root isn't it it is, and, and you know, and I think this game will suit him because he's, you know, you even talked about it when you were chatting with him that he said sometimes when you're not playing well, you'll call a simpler game. Well, you won't get the opportunity here to call a simpler game because it is skins line, and it'll kind of force you to make those shots. Line's good. So you need Same a good line. chunk of the button to force a carry over. Right now it's Same stolen. Line. Half point for Ols Rude in the world. It's got to be a little heavy. It's really Line's good. fine. It's perfect. Sea line. Yeah, Line's Walker, fine. The land, they like to wait. Okay. They've watched yep. enough of these. Yep. Line was good. Oh, how good is that? Very nice. Yeah, ring those bells. We're carrying over.
Well, that was uh, pressure packed right out of the gate for Brad Guju as he has to uh, draw the lid against two to force a carryover. Very nice. Oh, you, you know, and, and you, we've watched this all week with Brad. Oh, it's God. just his shot making. And, and you keep wondering when the wheels are going to fall off because of all the curling he's been doing, mixed doubles, but he just keeps making these shots. And the, the help of Walker and Gallant, great judgment there. The key shot brought to you by Scotty's. The tissue for any issue. The Continental Cup to be awarded to the team that reaches 30 and a half points. On this Sunday night here in London, Ontario, our final evening at the Western Fair Sports Center. So we carry over, and this uh, second will be worth a full point, another half point available. So a full point here in the second, and Team World has the last rock, playing the Redstone, so they'll need uh, to score two. I talked to Mark Nichols on the way here from Toronto, and he said that they will follow pretty much the exact script they did last year going into the Briar. They'll, you know, after the slam next week, they'll take a break, a couple weeks, and then they said they do a training camp somewhere, probably away, um, just to get away from the people in the crowds and the distractions at home and really focus on all the technical, getting themselves tuned back up again, and then the way they'll go to the Briar. They worked have. last year. <laughs> yeah, they have to be the favorite. I think I think they're playing a little bit better right now than they were when they won the bear. Well, there certainly won't be that hometown pressure since it's in Regina. I like it. And they've got that prior tanker to off the shoulder there. All those years of trying to win. And that makes a difference too. It's funny, yeah. That that probably opens the door to win a whole bunch more. Now it's it's that first one. Easy normal. Yep. Easy normal. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Atta boy. <laughs> what do you think? You think that was just easy? Just normal. Yeah. Just Sweet. normal. Good right. weight. What's that? Wasn't heavy. No. Like just normal. Did you think it was heavy? It was not heavy. How do you want to do that? Say bad, Ruth. I don't get shook. I put the rubble door in them, also. Yeah, you can smile and help them, Andre. Four heights for the highest guard. Hi. Okay. I like them here. Da kommer det bare en dragning rundt senteren, skjønner du? Det er greit at Thomas synes du liker det, skjønner du da. Get to them, da! You know Thomas does not like those rocks up front. Det er så bedre ut, altså. He looked at just running the left hand straight back and trying to peel shot stone off the top eight foot, but just gonna play this double peel. Might get lucky too and kick that red one over, possibly in the rings. Yeah, this is it. Okay, do you wanna go this way? You think this one's curling? Yep. How does that look? Oh, I it was no, never mind. This isn't it. <laughs> I'm using the last one. He That's thought fun. he had the cutter from Snot. <laughs> Speed's good here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we're real tight. Yep, yep. Really tight. Hey, whoa, whoa, easy. Are there at least the lines, Jeff? Same as Jeff. No, okay. We're, we're real tight. Curling. Might be in. Over curling. I don't think it's in. Whoa, whoa, it's not off, in. Off, Two off, feet off. short. It's no, 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 no. It's not in. It's not bad. Over curling. Over it's not curling. bad. Not in. That's not the wrong way, Brett, buddy. Okay. And right Brett, there? you say you missed it the Keep wrong it. way, and that's what I'm harping about all the time. That 15% that we, these top players play. If you could be that on the center line side, then when Oldsford hits this, it rolls open. You can hit it. Now you can roll behind that wall. Hard! 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 Hard!
fan att jag hör på han alltså. Ah. Oh, you can see the frustration with Thomas such a good opportunity. Seemed down for weight. Yeah, they were screaming right off like they'd missed it high side and uh, once it hits that center line it'll cross and really curl. Stick to this turn. I thought it'd be I think so. I a lot of that this week. Just just ticking guards. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the team. Speed was nice, yeah. I wonder if it's because this day, and we've noticed that this, the movement in this ice is super late, later than I've seen in a lot of ice I've ever played on. And so maybe the players at one point think, well, we're good. And then, you know, you're close to the rings, you kind of back off a little bit, and then it's too late once it goes. Yeah, you see it running so straight for so long, you just think it's heavy. Yeah, we're fine. And then it goes. Yeah, it's, it's a different look. They love it. It's just you have to be really aware of that. You don't want that tight. Oh, good shot, Mark. Good boy. Good. Shot. Good judge. Almost done. Stop. When you're done. I think about that. It's almost over. Come with that other. Ah, can we come back? Yo. Haltre. Ja, jag tänker på den, jag tänker på de två yttersta. Tinner och allt och grå, håll dig grejt. Se på skärmen. This uh, team Norway is playing for keeps here. You can see it. They, uh, it's that old story with the pride. You lose, you, you lose a few and you really want to get back in there and make some shots. Fylla. I think that was possible. Huh? So that was possible. Ah, you are... You come again from there now. What do you like? I was thinking intern draw, but... This? That's good. I think so. I like it. You're going to be, what, four feet slower than the drop pass? Think this is any slower here? I don't think it's going to be much. I threw one here in practice. Okay. So did I. Okay. okay. Should be a quick, okay then. This is almost yeah, just the same path as I threw in practice. Identify how many rocks have been down this path. first one that didn't get there? You were like yeah. here, weren't you? You were probably there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would have been close to getting by the guard. Okay. okay. So I like this ice. Yeah. It's all those little things, mm. right? The awareness that two have been down here, so I think it'll be up to speed. Had nobody thrown down the spot, then you'd have to give it that extra yeah, three or four okay. feet they talked about. Pretty good. T. Mine's good. Hair heavy. Well then. Close. Not bad. No room. No room. That's work right now. Should Red team, if coming you need down to a little. You're going to be T line. Well, higher the better on this line. Yeah, guys. We're coming down a little. Whoa. No, no, trying. No, no, no. Still splitting T. Uh, well, the uh, T world has no, no, I think Kevin Cooey in some trouble here Art. in the mixed game. Oh, Brent Lang, Lang picking up Mark. And does he move it far enough? No. And so that will be the two to uh, give Team World the half point skin. So they'll be tied. Borger Nergord. Hand, hand, back. Hand, back. Pull it there. Pull it there. Pull it there. Take it, shot rock. What a good throw. But that was left there because a little deep on Marks. Yeah, the first is all. Take it, though. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit lilly. Max? There's probably. So Rachel Holman playing Yellowstones. North America is sitting the two. Side and top edge of the button. This will be the final stone for Team World. And uh, Sylvana Tiranzoni, the Swiss Olympian. Yes. 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 
trying to make something happen here. Angle it back and will drive it by. And so that will result in the half point going to Holman and North America. She wasn't even really close on that, but we know that sheet, that's where it kind of comes off that wall so fast. Hard to believe with that kind of weight. And with the uh, trading of uh, half points, it remains a two-point lead. North America. No, no, no. It's not curling at all. Back four. No, 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 no. Not even on it. Ah, gonna have to tighten up the ice for me. Straight. That was really. The weight was good for the tap. Saw a lot of that with Mark Kennedy. Remember, he couldn't make those come around taps. He finally started playing doubles because he couldn't bury, and it's uh, it, yeah. Gushu's figured it out, but missed a couple in between. You have to be so careful where you put all these rocks. If you put it buried top four, you might give Gushu a run double. It can't be open, it can't be deep. Oh, it still remains. Oldsrud and World uh, sitting the one. They need two for the uh, full point with the carryover. Well, they knew they weren't going to get that around, but they tried to bounce it a little bit open so it was at least usable for Thomas on his last. I think this is the shot. Yeah, I'll see how much you have of it. I don't have a lot. Doesn't look like a lot. Just looking at picking that one. shot stone. Oh, yeah, it's there for sure. What do you mean? Like, this one only buried by, like, that. Yeah, I got enough. Let's go for it. Yeah. yeah. Put it down. Let's see it. What are you throwing, Brad? Just here. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need a lot of speed in this, because if you get by and hit it, it's gone. But I mean, no, a sliver more. there's no, yeah. uh, there's no brush here. I mean, he's basically saying it's straight as a dart, is it? Yep. Yeah. But as long as you're a normal weight or more, you're only going to get a couple inches of curl. Okay. Well, easy peel. Whoa. Pretty easy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Walker. Whoa. Got him. Yeah. yeah. Now Walker oh. again. Whoa. Little oh. Galant dust. Take it off the face like that. To sit three. Very nice. So now the rush goes down on the edge of the 12 from Torgan Nergord, and it'll full, full eight is what he needs to force another carryover. Right now, it's a stolen point. He's had to get his first one by. Uh, Rude, and then the, he'd be drawn for two here. Now, going out this far, are we expecting a lot of curl? I think so, Cheryl. Uh, I'm with you. I think it comes off a little bit more out here. Torgers took a long time, though, didn't it, to bury? Two, 
Mm -hmm. Decide if they hit the back one or. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, it <laughs> is. So that's another carryover. The third will be worth one and a half from Geneva. Loving the Timmies. Well, let's see a final weekend of qualification for the Scotties and in Ontario. Congratulations to Holly Duncan, who is a winner over Danielle Inglis. Duncan out of the Royal Canadian Curling Club in Toronto, along with uh, Stephanie Ledru, TSN commentator. We'll see her next week in Shawinigan at the Juniors. Cheryl Kreviazic and uh, Karen Sagel for uh, Kreviazic, the uh, longtime alternate for Rachel Holman in her championships and her world titles. She now gets to go to a Scotties herself and there you see Jennifer Jones won in Manitoba earlier today one spot still to be filled and that's uh, Alberta as well as the uh, challenge to fill out the field Chelsea Carey against Carey Einerson that will be played on the Friday night before the opening weekend in Penticton so congratulations to everyone we'll be following it all at the Scotties, as we are here on this final night of the World Financial Group Continental Cup. And in this game, no one has picked up a point yet. Guju rules road. So we'll go to three. And the skin is worth a point and a half. And it is North America. Guju with last rock. Playing Yellowstone, he'll need to score two. Well played rocks here already. Avad with the center guard and his top button, which is a pretty dangerous spot. Nice corner guard, wide enough that you can draw with either turn. When you, you have to make a decision, and you can see Gushu knows, you know, he has a plan for his corner guards. The option is to throw a corner guard that you can come around, or you throw it tight, a little closer to center, and you're going to use it to run back mm -hmm. or raise or tap. So it's just a, they, they play more of an open style, so they're going to throw their corners wider, something that they can use. Mm -hmm. But they, they're they very good about that usable wall in front. You see that one yellow, they can come yeah. around. The one to the right, they can raise. Nothing deep and all usable stones. Yep, en liten på linje over. Varsågod. Oh! Tror i hvert fall er fire. Oh, plus. Oh, Christopher Swall. It's nice to see Al Hackner and Rick Lang together again here as they are the uh, captain and coach, respectively, of Team North America. And in Rick Lang, of course, he is the uh, national men's coach and getting prepared as well for Pyeongchang. Rick is with Brian. Vic, I enjoy this interview every year. It's the Bill Belichick of this event. Five consecutive wins, even though he's a Vikings fan. That's okay, though. Five consecutive <laughs> wins. You're the captain once again. Take us through what you've seen so far from your side this week. Well, five is good, but six looks a little precarious right now. You know, um, this is on honestly the closest one we've ever had. Two-point lead's been the max from start to finish, and so no one's been comfortable for the entire four days. And here we are, uh, the final night with that two-point lead, just desperately trying to hang on. What was your strategy going into the final day? You had some pretty cool combinations when it came to not only the mix, but the skins games as well. You know, uh, what, I think what we've done well the last uh, several years is consult with the teams and ask them what they want to do. And Kevin Cooey's team just loves playing that last game and mixed, and we know they're going to be fired up and totally into it. And, uh, you know, uh, Michelle's team was, was struggling a little bit, and they admitted that, and they said, no, we'd like to play that, that mixed game too. And, uh, and we knew our two American teams this afternoon were playing really strong going into this afternoon's game, so, you know, we weren't losing anything there. So it's, it's worked out really well. We're holding our own. We just got to keep that two-point lead. As Vic mentioned, you have a big business trip coming up, and obviously a lot of these teams will be going to the Olympics. Are you excited for the preparations and how they're coming with all the teams going for Team Canada? Yeah, the Olympics, I mean, there's nothing like it. It's a wonderful experience for the players, wonderful experience for all the support team that will be going there. I think we have everything in place. We've got two great teams. Looking forward to a wonderful performance for Canada and being part of that huge, large Canadian Olympic team.
Tell me about the team itself. You had John Morris coming in late, obviously in mixed doubles with Caitlin Laws. They have to be a real nice addition considering the experience they bring. Yeah, really. You know, our mixed doubles program is relatively new, and we're really excited that we ended up with such a wonderful team to join Team uh, Kui and Team Home. And uh, we've got our greatest players out there uh, ready to perform, ready to go and get gold. We should tip our hat to Jeff Stoughton as well. Done a great job with that mixed doubles program. And the final one for you here, Rick. All right, it's very tight. It's close. What do you want to see down the stretch here from your side here? Can they do it? Well, you know, we just have to stay in control and uh, and uh, not get, not give any uh, big carryovers up to them, hopefully, and, uh, you know, uh, maintain maintain uh, this two-point lead we've got. All right, Coach Belichick, good job. Good luck here and good luck also in South Korea. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ryan. And that carryover, that big carryover is on the line here. And there's a one and a half points available as we play in the this third. Good, and good, eh? Guju needs to uh, score two points to put it on the... Uh, North American side as we drop in on North America and the world here. And this is in the mixed game. And this one is all Kui right now sitting one and two, both at the top and back of the eight foot. So Nicholas Adin has to get in here to uh, at least be second shot. Well, if he can, though, there's yeah! some pretty good staggered guards set up if he can bury this around there. Trying to drag this in. Looks like it may have just rubbed a little bit, but still had something to get to the top edge of the it's four. It's crazy, uh, Cheryl. They just keep doing that. Uh, both the uh, Swedish teams, they just wait, wait, wait. They didn't even look at that till four feet away from that guard, and then he took the guard in. Obviously, they had to get by tight, but if you get by by two or three inches, it's going to finish. Torger Nergord. And now Kevin Cooey. Playing for half a point here in the third. And doesn't need to hold the shooter there. They are those two around the eight. And North America will pick up a half point. Back line? Yeah. As Stretching I the lead now to, good to me. two and a half points. Just a back line weight. This is the spot we have seen that runs light. a little bit straighter yeah, with the overthrow. You got to give it to your Not brushers. Close. Not bad. Easy. Clean. They can get to the inside if yeah, they can get yeah. tight yeah. to that top yeah. stone. Hard. Hard. Mark Nichols. Hard. Like with Walker and Galant on the brush and all over the, the guard. He goes just all weight, Vic. As it spins back, and uh, they did. That little spin gives them second shot at the moment. Yeah. It's quiet, he said. You tend to do that, and it's the smart throw as a player when you know it's a straighter spot. You'll throw the weight down rather than up because up is completely useless and hope your brushers can save it. Okay. Probably close to here. You can try to roll it over there, yeah. Yeah, you need to roll. You don't want to roll just behind that red one. It's a short little run, Playing so you're trying to roll along, at least behind normal? your two yellows. Close to normal? Oh, yeah, normal. Yeah. <laughs> a little big. It's all normal. Yep, we're pretty big. Yeah, halfway here right. now, trying to Heavy normal. make that roll. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. And nothing. Half a stone, maybe. Still leaves it out in the open. Uh, 
Saw Thomas close to peel oh, sorry, in the first end make a really soft little board weight kind of roll in this exact spot. Mm -hmm. That's his shot, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Stones and Thomas Olsen. Not very close. No, he was trying to roll the other way. Better than wrecking, though, I guess, isn't it? You know, this late in the end. But let's go back to and uh, the frustration showing there, just as he's talking to the front end. And, Maybe the brushing right there, wasn't to his liking, but that's the kind of shot, one here, one there, the difference between winning and losing. Well, and that's what you said earlier is, is because they've lost a little bit of a losing streak, you're not quite as confident. So then you see that guard out of your peripheral. You say to yourself, well, I better throw it hard enough or wide enough to make sure I get by to want to rack. You shouldn't be thinking negatively. You know, it's like you don't look at the sand trap. You look at the middle of the fairway. And it's, I think that's what's happened to these guys just a little bit. Well, you see the uh, yellow stone on the edge of the button that belongs to Rachel Holman, Team North America. Sylvana Tiranzoni uh, made a bing bang kind of ricochet shot. That uh, is the stone on the edge of the forefoot. It was almost as if she apologized for it because it didn't look like it was the shot she called. But she does have a chance here to get in if she can get over and tap that back for the. For the half point, but you got to get oh, in there. Go. Plan B here. Down, down. Yeah, maybe down, there's a little down. bit of a rub down. and come over. Oh, well played. No. Oh, but that's oh, twice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now you have to give credit where credit is due, and that's Manuela Sigrist who calls the line for Tiranzoni. Vicar, oh. uh, Tiranzoni's first shot was just a double peel. And she missed the second rock, went in and made a thin double on Rachel's two buried rocks. <laughs> and said sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Twice. No pictures on the scorecard. No. But I mean, really. That's having your third make you look really good. <laughs> Holman, Holman thought the right pocket was picked. The left one just got picked, too. <laughs> Gets a chance to throw down the pretty much the same path. I like that. Like. And it does, and he'll roll away, but he, they are sitting one, two, three, four, five, actually, at the top as well, my goodness. Yeah, good enough to force the carry over if yeah. can make this. And he's still not happy. Please swept that. Yeah. yeah. That seems good. It's just straight over there, Cheryl. We not saw that in the uh, mix game with uh, Mark Kennedy. Different sheet, but they all have that same characteristic. They do. Trinzoni, you know, look at her last shot, didn't curl at all. Nice, nice big extension. Line's fine. Looks pretty good. You got even a little more. No worries on line. Line's, on the tee. line's good. You know, that says something to me. He'll draw for the uh, point to force. But so many would look at that and just try to play the hit on the eight foot. Not going to risk rolling out. I got my draw weight. That's what I'm going to play. We're carrying over again.
Couple of feet in front. Randall now. Erickson calling it. Bang, move in. And far enough. Nicholas Hadid. Little angle tap. Maybe get them a single. Brett Galant. Oh, yes, there. Oh, my. Oh, man. What a shot. Take that to Pian Chang. Final stone facing two. Oh. Oh. Schwartz backs off. Oh! oh. Hard him! Whoa! Whoa! Yep! Whoa! Whoa! Yep, 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 yep! Talk to me, come on! Talk to me, talk to me. What do you want me to say? How would you say <laughs> two and three? Yeah, we've loved the curling over the course of four days here in London, the World Financial Group, Continental Cup. The team play, the mixed doubles. Now we're into skins play on this final day. This was what Rick Lang was talking about with Brian. To be careful of a, a large carryover that could go the other way. We have a two points. On the line now, we've yet yeah, to uh, win anything in this game between Guju and Rose Rude. So as we go to the fourth, it's a two-point skin. And it is Rose uh, Rude with Last Rock playing the Red Stones, and he'll need to score two. Well, he's doing his job, Thomas. He's keeping it close. He's getting the carryovers. Giving themselves a chance, and then it's anybody's end. Now, as he kept it close, Russ, because, you know, by his own admission, he said, sometimes when you're not playing well, you simplify the game and you don't take chances. In a format like this, does that help him? Or has he, are we at the situation in this carries carryovers because it just hasn't set up for everybody. Yeah, that's all it is. I think he's trying hard to get his points, his steals or his deuces, but it's I think it's a wonderful format for some team yeah. that's struggling a little bit because they can let loose. You're not worried about giving up a three or a five or whatever it is. You're just going all out every single end. Just papered another guard. Team World is just feathered about 50 guards this week. Looks like it should be there. I think we can go a little. Okay. Well, I thought it was there. Top Mark. four. Line's good. Line's good. Line only. Yep. Two lines. Whoa. Line's Top a little four. tight. Wait it's good. Wait. Whoa, Brett. Whoa, Jeff. Okay. T line. Top four. Whoa. Line's, Line's good. Brett Galant Walker Line's just good. ready to pounce here. Now, Nichols. Just, we're good. We're good. Right to it. It's there. Just shy of it. Sit. Good. Real good. And nice right to it. Oh boy. Shot. Good judge. It's a mixed double shot there. I just looked uh, towards the one I just threw. I didn't even get any gong for that. No. Everyone's too busy watching the music. Yeah. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, 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 hard. Yep! Hard! Hard! Oh! 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 Oh, and just drives it by. Boy, they're so close, these guys, but they're not getting away with anything. No. Look at those freezes. You know, we can still run the red in. Mixed game. One, two for sure, possibly even sitting three. Great camera angle. That's exactly what Kui's got to do. Throw a rocket down there, hair the guard, and run it into that pile. Got a quarter rock. Playing in the fourth for a half point. Right now it belongs to the world and Nadine. Brent Lang staying with it. Angle it back. Hello. And they will not move it far enough. And that's the two. That's worth the skin of half a point. Team World. Curled on Gushu there. Uh, Gives Alstrud a chance here. Uh, 
Probably get them both with some speed. Now you look at that. Within a point and a half at the moment. Two points on the at stake right here goes to the world side and they'd suddenly be in front. Yeah, they need it too, because if you lose it, you're that much farther behind. I like this call. It looks like they're going to just maybe play more like a back line, back weight, try and get rid of one, sit on top and take your chances, because you, you could get both of them to go, but then Gushu just wraps around. Yeah, the only thing here, though, is can you, you got to stay on top, eh? That's you have to. I like it, though. Yep. Don't overthrow it. Real close. <laughs> Perfect. Christopher Swa. Now you can start cleaning that front off if you're uh, Ols Rude and you've got a real easy tap to get your skin. Like the car? I think so. How deep do you want this, Brad? I think no more than halfway. Okay. It's good. So by playing the full hard and half. Easy, He's going to just try and steal it out here, is he? He yeah, is just try and steal. Well, and Looks like it's got a curl even if maybe you get the force out of it. Got to steal at this point. Yeah. Yep. But they're going to leave some the bullets coming in on those guards, I'm guessing. Good shot. Good. It's a curl there. Right. Yellow, yellow, maybe even the red. Just to be about two inches higher. It's either going to go yellow, yellow, red, or it'll go right through to that red one, uh, Cheryl, and it gets it too. Get this pretty thin. Yep. Torgan there, good. Spa got him early. All the way down, and then they'll leave one out in front. Mm, a little unlucky. Freeze that back one any good? What's that? No. Okay. I don't think so. We're gonna just stagger him just a little. Okay. Yeah, the angles are set uh, up really good. I don't good. think you want to do that. And no. That... We're staggering. We got to come tight. Don't mind can, you, can you freeze the back? Probably a little early. Okay, let's guard it then. We'll go one more then. We freeze. Well, maybe it isn't. This makes sense. Come on down. We'll have a chat. You throw the guard with the ability of all these teams now and these type of rocks are so lively. They peel off the two guards you and then you're hurting. Side, right? You could still so freeze, but at some point they probably have to make that freeze. I don't know if that really helps us because this is still going to yeah. be shot after, right? Yeah. He could try to just pick it. What if we just draw there? Mm. Can't see any of the yellow. Probably with the option of being just a little short, right? If he doubles it, we can always do this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like it. I think hey. we have to. It's either right that or we freeze on this one, but. I think if we lob one up high, he probably plays this quietly. Yeah. Top 12. So a little tighter. They were looking at a like a one yeah. or two guard, just but bringing this in tighter center, yeah. makes it Maybe tougher to come around and tap. Just guard that one perfect. Where was that? Halfway? Yeah. You like this, Brett? It's halfway. I think it's good. I like it. Okay. Like the Little late. I don't think we're quite 12 foot. Easy. Okay. Real good. close though. Whoa. Mine's Mine's good. Might need a curl if anything. Okay, wait, it's pretty good. Whoa, easy, ten. easy jab. Go at the end though. Right in. Just biting now. Go ahead. Trying. Go ahead, go ahead. Hard. Go ahead. Short of the rings. Hard. Yep, go. It's Hard. We're gonna sink some. Hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Biting. Whoa. Great whoa. shot, Mark. Good. Real good. good. Boom. Boom. 
Shut. Good Shut. now. Good. Shut. Playing the fourth Thanks. in the women's game, and it's a half point. And Rachel Holman is sitting the uh, the two at the moment, and that would give her the uh, half point skin. She does have last rock. Final stone to be played by Sylvana Tiranzoni. In off her own here, try to stick it. Albrecht, yeah. Neuen Schwander, Seegers calling line. Wow, okay, oh, inside. Got the roll in to cut it down. You know, that was another lucky one. I, I think they're trying to tick off their own there. Well, I have, but I don't know how to get there. Well, we can even play kind of off this one. Oh. Well, I can't hit this. No. Well, it's kind of like six shots. <laughs> Ah, I mean, that, that Swiss stone yeah. is frozen. Yeah, that might be a it's unreal. At 100 miles an hour, and it ended up frozen. It's like anywhere onto that back one. Gets it. I'm sure they were redirecting out that red and just missed it. Got away with one there. Seems to be working for them yes. this game. There's no way I can clip this, though, eh? No, no, no. Yeah, like that would be the thinnest. You would be missing it. I'm worried, this is about, I'm worried about hitting there and going through this hole. Well, this is really hard, so this might be a little easier. Try and stick it's it. hard because it's so thin to like have it keep going. Oh, no. Okay, you want to throw weight then? I think so. It's like a quarter. Like it's thin. I hope it kind of springs back up it. a little bit. You think? If it rolls? It's going to be going Okay. Wait. They're going right around this time, Cheryl. It's not a, not a ton of ice. Okay. Yeah. Give me yeah, I think that's what the call was. Yep. Top four. Wait, it's pretty close. Yep, line. Good. Coming to the world still to the back good. edge Whoa. of the four. Wait on Lee. Whoa, no bump. It's good, just do it. Wait on Lee. Got to go a bit. Line's perfect. Yep. Whoa, if you can. We're to it. No. Whoa, if you can. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, that's too. It's perfect. Very nice shooting here. Both sides. That's a big uh, two points in that men's game. Final stone now. It's a carryover at the moment of the half point. Rachel Hoven. Beagle, Courtney, nothing. Miss Q and nothing. And so they will carry over. That's the first carryover in the game. And after the break, they'll play for a full point in the... Fifth. You have to think about scoring here, Cheryl, with all these carryovers. Just get your single and live another day. I think you tap that, don't you? Yeah. I think you have to. Yeah, so they pull out like yeah, you know, it's going to come and hit the bridge shot. Uh, yeah. 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 Can you get enough? You tap it and kind of roll a little to the left. Sure. You Very good. Yeah. Yeah. And then your uh, shot you hit will roll slightly to the right, kind of be in front. And then Brad's got to deal with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I like that. And then the two's still a possibility. Just cross the face of this a hair. Hit it right in the center line with like a hack, boardish. Yeah, yeah for sure. Got it. Not roll too far with the thrown rock because then there'd be a red double. Yeah, just. Hair, even dead on, eh? Yeah, or a little bit. Slight roll, half under. Mark Nichols and uh, world captain David Murdoch. A lot of weight at this. Pulls oh. Rudin his first. He does have last rock, so needs to score two for the skin, and it's a 
Two full yeah. points. Yeah. 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 Whoa. Yellow is still shot. That belongs to Guju, so he has his steel point still in position. Any lighter, that was perfect. You roll like you said out of the way, and you're right on top. Just gives Brad that same shot, doesn't it? Uh, I overroll. I guess he's probably playing off. Of yeah. Guy and over. Can Can't really go there. Well, I could go there. Might be the shot, Brett. Just can't, can't be know. there. Yeah, yeah. There. Can't be, can't this, even be a hair deeper than that. Well, the nose is, well, what if we play this quietly, roll in? Yeah, could you do that? Yeah, I kind of well, like real bad get rid of yeah. well, that redstone. Plus, the yellow's in a good yeah, spot where mm -hmm. it is now. Back, uh, back eight, back 12 weight. Yeah. Got to get to the inside, though, for sure. Yeah. Roll it okay. over here somewhere. I like it. Right now, Olsrud's got this. I don't think we need any more than that, Mark. If we're throwing back eight, back 12. You were. That same line. Close. Back eight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Trying to hit about half, hey? Yeah, that'll be close. Back 12. Back 12. Whoa, back line. Whoa, whoa, heavy. Whoa. Back line. Final stone for no. North whoa. America. No. Back 12. Oh, no, no, no. Brad Guju Close. here in four. Back, 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 back eight. Yes. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Roll it. I got it. Uh, he wanted to get him inside. Does get that roll. Yeah, oh. Oh. Almost didn't roll far enough. I think it's good. I think it's good. It's, uh, a little heavy to set up the jam, but. Yeah, it was a foot heavy. Yeah. I think our angles are pretty good, though. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. I don't oh, think yeah. you can get that. We could have rolled a hair more, maybe? I, but think, I don't know. Great I think a shooting. hair less roll. <laughs> less? Great. A hair less. But I think it's really good. Well, less than he can make the double. Uh, so oh. He's got to draw the button. Oh, come, come on. Yeah, but that's not an easy draw to the button. No, no. You've forced him to a pretty <laughs> tough shot. Let's do it all. I can cure it. With all time? You can definitely hit enough of this to get that, but where is it going? It's obviously jamming, and they've got to get it far enough back here to be to get that to count. Maybe if you get it, you're probably going to die anyway, right? As in, it's dying in the back one, huh? That's how critical that freeze so. was. Probably this one. So they've called timeout. Easy shots to draw the button. Draw is tough, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, draw is tough, too. I don't know. But it's, this one is not here for, for two. I don't think it's there for two. If you get lucky. No, no. Oh, yeah. That was if, probably if it, there. Could, you... could be, but do you know, it, it will it will slide a little, but no, not a lot. You have to, you, you're losing no, the shooter as well, right? Yeah, exactly. You have to move it more yeah. than uh, uh, No, it's just for one. Yeah. It's just for one. Yeah. Well, that's it. Could it's you not, Wait, so could you not hit the yellow? Yeah. Make the yellow double and just, this isn't about two, this is about surviving. Well, it, it, you can make the yellow double, but that back yellow one, Vic's going to hit a fair amount of the red because the top one's going to drag it a bit. So you got to get it to hit the back red and go slide another, what, eight inches mm -hmm. to get that. And I, I think if you threw ultra peel and picked it just perfect, you might make it, but these guys draw the button for uh, for a living, so I, I think this is the easier of the two shots. Not that it's a gimme. Need a piece of the white. Need just a little bite of the button. I played Thomas a hundred times, and uh, I'd uh, rather have him throwing the double if I was playing against him. And this is this is the shot he usually makes. A lot of pressure on this one, though. No, that's a, there's a lot of. Points on the board here. Well, right now it's one and a half points separating the North Americans leading the world. And it's a two point skin here. 
bitte mindre Roger. Kan jeg ha til køler nå da, hvis det er sånn. Ja, så du liker at jeg skal være på forhånd, så bare. Forhånd, jeg prøver å gi på det vi hadde for Henry. Do you try to think of this, Cheryl, as a... Your draw to the button to win the last rock is you try to put the moment out of your mind is the important yeah, yeah you definitely do hard to do but you just go back to your routine what you do how you set up how you spin the rock throw the right weight and then leave it to your brushers has to have a bite of the button to force a carry over it's two full points available here in the fourth Spa. Vad Pettersson, Sva, Vad Pettersson now together by the guard. Yo, yes. One more time. Now can't go too far. Can't go too far. Goes too far. Two full points to North America. The 2018 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. Carryover results in a big two points for North America now within three and a half of retaining the championship. Brad Gushu is with Brian. Brad, we know Skins is a different beast and obviously lots in the line tonight. Did that patience finally pay off? Yeah, certainly. Just trying to keep things a little bit open for, uh, for myself to have a shot and uh, made a good one on my last. Unfortunately, got a miss out of Thomas. You guys have played fantastic. I know it's been an emotional couple months, but what was the drive coming into this event? Because it certainly showed in your play. <laughs> there, to be honest, there, there wasn't a whole lot of drive coming in. We were all pretty disappointed after last week and obviously the team trials. But once you get in this environment with the bigger team and, and you get out in front of this good crowd, uh, the competitive juices start flowing again. And, and it's, it's been easy the last couple days to get up for it. And you don't want to let your bigger team down. I was going to say it's a unique event. Usually you wouldn't scoreboard watch, but are you doing that tonight? Yeah, I find my, my eyes uh, looking around quite a bit more than what I would in a normal event. But, um, you know, because every, every game out here matters and we need points off uh, every sheet and just glad that we got two points on the board in that end. Good luck. Thanks. As we check the numbers uh, after four, uh, both Brad Guju and Thomas Olsrud throwing 78 percent the numbers after four brought to you <laughs> how many times have i done that this week what is wrong with me the numbers after four are brought to you by ford proud partner with curling canada for over 20 years continental cup i won't be winning it The 2018 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By New Holland, equipped for a new world. And by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex and Cashmere. Proud to support the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. Sprite Raptors basketball continues tomorrow when the Raptors battle the 76ers. Catch the action 12.30 Eastern. 9.30 a.m. Pacific across the TSN network. So that's a huge two points after the uh, four and carryover. And we go to five and it's a uh, half point available. Once again, it'll be Thomas Olsrud with the uh, last rock he has the hammer so he'll need to score two and uh, right now it is a desperate team uh, world they've got to uh, start putting some points together it's good whoa, whoa. well you can tell from brad's interview that 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 was the plan that they came it's in good. with he talked about yep. playing it a little bit more open and yep. we noticed that with mm -hmm. his skins so he always had a shot whoa, whoa. and at worst case a carryover whoa, whoa. Yep, 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 yep. 
you get into that coming around everything and oh, never yeah. opening it up and that's when it becomes a little bit more luck than skill. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you look at the stats, uh, Mark Nichols is 11% uh, higher than Torger. Uh, Brad was 10 ahead of Thomas. So why get into a, a situation where you've got no shot? Just give yourself a shot because you're out curling the uh, back end. Yep. Oh. Oh, it's really tough. It looks like it may be the red stone T line. World stone, but uh, we'll find out here. As a uh, Shell Inglot has the brush down for Kevin Cooey. This is the uh, mixed game. Cooey, Michelle Englot, Brent Lang, Renora Westcott against Nicholas Adin, Sarah McManus, Marcus Vrano, Agnes Nockenhauer. And trying to uh, angle it back and does not. And so the half point goes to Team World. They were, they are shot rock on the T-line edge of the, uh, the four. Hmm. That was sailing pretty good. We ended up tapping and giving Elstrid some backing. I had to, when I was reading about the Raptors tomorrow at 12.30, tomorrow is Monday. 12.30 game, I thought, well, it's Martin Luther King Day in the United States. And so that's a federal holiday right. in the U.S. Right. Why didn't you help me out when I was reading it then going? I was actually watching the game. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> they tell me that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> was it four or four thirty? <laughs> that was good. Wow. Man, I didn't even see the bus coming. <laughs> <laughs> and again and again. They don't they're trying to roll away, but they don't want to roll out on this one. I just I don't like that call. It's you know it's skins game. You're trying to you're trying to score your two there. I know they're going to roll away, yada yada. But it that's that lack of confidence, I think. Well, and, and timing. They were concerned about coming down freeze on there. They get you yeah, know Gushu yeah. freezes on and they get no chance at True. the end. So opening it up, but you got to throw the right weight mm -hmm. to make sure you keep some shots around that you can use and score with. Glant missed once. That's the the unfortunate part for uh, Olsford. He won't miss this one. Line's fine. Line only right now. Yeah, we're Line's good. Line's good. Oh, needs a curl. It's all there. Yeah, Line's good. heavy. Yeah, we're yeah. back button. Line's no. good. You no. Out? No, 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 no. Okay. They're, uh, they're going to try and uh, carry over, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, that's the, it's, it's at that point now, three full points behind. Uh, World can't give anything else up, so a carryover for them is virtually a, a, a victory. You get a carryover, win the next end, you get both those ends. You don't have to win, you know, four consecutive mm -hmm. ends. So a little different look then. It's opening it up and... There you go. And then something like that. Now that does leave. Guju still sitting the, uh, the one on the edge of the eight foot. Yeah, nice and tight. Just try to keep you hate to get here, forced no. when you have <coughs> hammer, but in skins it's better than giving up a steal and you get the carryover, which is pretty much the plan. It's kind of a helpless feeling for Gushu too, because he's he's played well, he's got all the points he can, and, and now he has to kind of go all out for a steal here. Yep. Sure he knows what his opponent's up to. They're going to rip this guard. All of a sudden it's back to Make normal sure curling. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Try. No, he's not either. Wow. It'd be tempting to. Like you score here, now you don't, you know, you don't have hammer and six. Pull up the boot. These other lunch may have a full hay. You see, the problem though is if you do, uh, if you do carry over here and you lose the next end. Yeah, that's but you. 
I mean, this center guard is the only thing whoa, that could whoa, cause you to give up a steal whoa. to Gushu. The way I look at it, Cheryl, is that you you try to carry over possibly five, six, seven. You you only have to beat Gushu one end. Yeah. If you win this end, you you really need to win a couple more or another one at least. Not wrong though. So Brad now, because of the scoreboard, is going as hard as he can to score, get that uh, steal. Because that it, even if he gives up yeah, an yeah. end here, it's not that bad. You have to try as hard as you can. He does not want carryovers. Hard to manage this theory too yeah, when you're not sure what's good. happening on the other two cheats. No. That's why they keep looking over and Charger just a, it's too deep. You'd want that one top four. Yeah. Because they freeze this one down there and you're gonna have a real tough time with a deuce. No jets in if you need to speak. No, 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 no. Good. Atta boy, Mark. Good boy. Very nice. Good. One at the back edge of the four, one at the top. Those belong to Rachel Holman. And so this, for the half point, uh, this is a full point actually because of the carryover in four. This is to force another carryover. Grab a bit of the button for Sylvana Tiranzoni. Only for weight. Line is good. Watch out now. Watch out now. And oh, now did it go too far? Yeah, that's out. Yeah, I think there she did. It is a carryover. Oh, wow. Yep, right there. Who shot? Their shot. Okay, Brilliant shot. Yeah. Do we want to move this at all or not? Actually, give me the six. Yeah. Straight freezing or are we trying to bump it an inch? No, just freeze. We got them both ways then. All right, same path we've been throwing, right? So yeah. there's the point. Oldsford could have peeled that center guard. Made life a lot easier for himself. Yeah, because as we said, that's the only way that yeah. center guards, the only way that you could mm -hmm. give up the skin and the steel. It's good. Oh, line, guys. Wait, it's good. T back button. Well, then, she's been dead back on four. with this intern draw. Back he back loves four. that intern draw. Back, well, back four. That much, back Brett. Four. Back four. Close. Back four. Close. 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 Yep. Whoa, wait oh, away. Back four. four. Half wait, back don't wait. No, no. It's pretty good. Still there. Just a little tiny bump. Leave it then. Well, leave it then. Good, but not perfect. No. Has to slow down at all. What's that? Has to slow down. door is slightly open. You can get just to the nose on that. Tough the way. Oh. He overthrew it at all, and Gushu threw straight draw weight, and it didn't come up enough. We need Rachel to skin this. Omtrent som den der glattere nå enn den dragningen jeg dro i sted vitt her, ikke sant? Hvis du spiller den samme farten, så har du bakke her. Ja, ja, ok. Det har vært en tricky spot. Det er ikke sykt mye mer, men liksom litt. Det synes å være nærmere til den sentre linjen at du får det mer av den kurl, men du kan ikke overthrå på den, og du kan ikke heller. Hvor lang? Å, ikke linje da! Nei, ikke linje. Sju! Vi er ikke linje, Alvar. Sju, sju, åtte! Ja, Alvar, vi er ikke linje i det hele tatt. Linje, kom! Vi er ikke linje. Linje, kom og se! Vi er ikke linje nå. Ja! Hard! Åtte! 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 Åtte!
Oh. He's sitting. One yellow, I think. Yeah. What is it? That's close, Russ. Yep. No. Man, if I were to it's guess, it'd say us. One yellow. How does he get two at this point? He needed to be shot somehow. You there. just have to jump this. right in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we worth? I think yeah. we're shot. I finally got out from can under the this? bus, <laughs> and I thought this is perfect time. <laughs> There's my opening. You can, but you got to be careful. You don't kind of tick tick and stuff it into there. Well, uh, it's that's still pretty sunk. Well, I mean, if, that. You, if you stuff it into there, then yeah. Well, let's go across the top then. Okay. Uh, that's the risk. What's the other option? We can't afford to bump this because then it just no. makes yeah, it easier for him. No, you can't bump it. We could guard something. He's uh, got nothing on this side. He's got this. Yeah, yeah. That's the so only you can't thing. really guard. You know what I mean? Like. Okay, so we're, this is what we're playing then. Thin, so. thin okay. slash. Ooh. Like yep. Like you know the spot inside out. Well, uh, and just, I don't. I guess you can't He's stop it there. But <laughs> that was a very nice shot. Uh, Brad might not be able to throw it hard enough. He might stuff it there. <laughs> we don't have the luxury of time. On our hands. Quarter? Yeah, or a little less. Again, a fraction less, Mark. Just no ice at all. I mean, almost beside the stone. Yeah, very true. And you're catching it, you know, pretty much a third quarter stone. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Come on. Whoa, whoa. Here's your Walker backing yep. off yep. now. Yep. Some late licks. Gotta get it by the high guard first. Oh. Yeah, there. And yes. Oh, goodness gracious. That's why he's the Canadian. He is the world champion. Brad Gucci. Beauty. Perfect. He's four need to freeze time and show up at the briar like this. It's just easy to throw this two feet harder because you know you've got that back one. And then it will not curl. Okay. Got to get there here. Got to get there. Yeah. Got to get there. Got to get there. Got to get there. Oh. That's a saver for sure. That may have just saved the cup. There. He yeah. didn't have any room there at all. You're right, Brad. Right. Mm -hmm. The winner of the Continental Cup, the winning team, will get $52,000 to be split among them, and the coaches lose at 26. There is that $13,000 additional bonus that goes to the team with the most skins points won in the two draws today. And right now, it is Team North America with a two-point lead there, 11 and a half to nine and a half. As we welcome you back, final evening here in London at the Western Fair Sports Center and the World Financial Group Continental Cup. Wonderful uh, last rock draw by Thomas Olsrud to uh, force a carryover. And yes, we are playing one full point here in six. There, During the break, we th were it's chatting. Like and it is, just to your brush. Oh, Brad Gushu thought easy. that uh, Olsrud would play it open and like, play for insane. the carryover. It didn't turn out that way. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah, and I, I even thought enough. before he went around the center guard oh, that Gushu threw his, oh, the shot before they played down. to actually roll to the wings and keep it open. Oh, and mm -hmm. then he changed gears completely and almost gave up a steal. That center guard was. I, you know, yeah, it's, it's it's risky to be playing around stuff like that against Gushu when you you've got just got to you can't give up another skin here. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 
Christopher Schwa. Hit well. Can't hold the shooter. Well, then when I say that, then maybe I'm wrong. If at this point in time, do you want anything in play of your team world if you're Rolls Root? No. No, you actually don't really. You it's really good. don't. If you get your chance to steal or get your two, fine. But no, they. Uh, it's a double edged sword. You, you need to score skins, but you only have to score one of them if you carry over a bunch. Well, the four uh, and carry over of two points went to Guju. Holes who had a chance to uh, force another carryover, but went long with his draw. Yep. Hard to hit. Hard. Hard. Bra. Halfway now to take because he's going to try and kill this too. So. Well, North America, Kevin Cooey right in this mixed yeah, game. You see Michelle Englot has the brush down. Has one on the uh, the lid. So if he can make this angle double, even touch the one on the lid, there's two, one around the eight foot, and one at the top, and one at the back edge of the button that could come into play to uh, win this skin. Final stone on the way, Kevin Cooey. Brett yeah. Lang yep. picks him up. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Kala fallen at zone, and away they go. Never even touch the stone on the lid. The laser. So three points away from. Retaining the Continental Cup. It's a little higher, guys. It it a little higher. This one's going to curl more. Should be good. Just oh, pass out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Still good. You might see Brad Gushu go right down around down the uh, red yeah, one here at some point in time. Try and set up okay, for a deuce. To get it thin. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Tor or, uh, Thomas knew the plan too. Yes. He's <laughs> trying to clip that. I don't care. Might get into a little bit of fresher stuff yeah, with this, yeah. but. Okay. Cutting a couple of these uh, TSN skins games years ago, and you're going along good, and you've won the first year for skins, and then all of a sudden somebody does this like Olsru, and it's really unnerving. Like, what do you do? All of a sudden, you how do you get that to? How do you get that steal? There's no rocks in play. And it's carry over, carry over, carry over. Well, here's another big uh, Back four. trying to save it anyway for Team World. It is a one and a half point skin. Right now, it belongs and is in the pocket of North America and Rachel Holman, Sylvana Tiranzoni. And we'll move everything around and. Still leave a chance, though. There's the opening. The draw will be there for the two and the one and a half points for Holman. Oh, great opportunity for the Holman team. Holman buried four or five in a row. Dead buried right behind that one long guard, all in front of the T line. And in peeking over, it looks as if she's playing much better and having the best game of the competition right now. Exactly. Seems like they're more comfortable with the rocks, the ice. 
in that first game, and it was against Tiranzoni in the first game yeah. that they struggled, Just but they picked, picked it up since. And yeah. they are playing what some were saying the uh, for the troublesome stones, the yellows. And she's handling them tonight. Probably a little bit more info now. You've had a lot of your bigger team play with the stones. Full eight foot. He's here early. Oh, there. Okay. Hasn't curled yet. Seven. Clean it. 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 You're fine. As they uh, tune up and get ready to wear the maple leaf in Pyeongchang. As the hand goes up and the crowd erupts. That's a big skin. One and a half points. Points away. Oh, I think we're there. Don't need it. Yeah, it's heavy. It's like more, if anything. Well, then. Sixth. I think we're straight. No. Mine's a little Title. better. It's okay. No. Yep, it's full enough. eight, guys. Full back eight. Yep. Mine's yep. better. It should slow we're down. Right there. Whoa, 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 you're by. You're by. You're by. We're half in right the 12. Just right here. We're there. Whoa, 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 Jeff. We're all there. Trying to get whoa, as whoa, much Jeff. separation whoa, from yeah. that top red. Good shot. Bad boy. Be shot. Perfect. Can't believe your first one went that far. Crafty. Wow, this like, one's like it got in a ridge. That one actually finished. Yeah, oh, that one actually finished. Yeah. So if you are the coaches of Team World, Murdoch, Lindbergh, you'd be sending out what message to uh, all your teams on the ice? Here? Certainly, Cheryl would want to uh, carry over uh, for Lindholm or for uh, the world to have to carry over. That's a victory. Carry over six in the case of Gushu's sheet, seven on the other sheets. You win the eights, all three eights, and you win this thing. Yeah, they've kind of put themselves into that situation mm -hmm. now. But it's not that hard to get out of it, really. There's only, no. there's only what seven ends left. The other two sheets are in the uh, seventh. So you get a couple carryovers and you probably got to win all three sheets, that's all. It was funny, Mark was, uh, couldn't believe his first one slid that far, couldn't believe his second one slowed down that much. Maybe make that's, them play that's that. That's coming back. Yeah. Nice. Well, you I, make, yeah. You make it. Make yeah. it and then up. it's an open shot for one. I think that should be more than enough. Okay. T line. Yeah. Just uh, just biting the T, splitting the T at the most. Give me the five. Thomas has made some great mm. draws and freezes and taps. About, uh, from a guy that was struggling coming into this game, not so much tonight. Just freeze right down to the face. Hoping to be above the T line. Okay. Still, Olsworth's got to make a good one. Falling out of the. Hmm. 
Jeg trodde jeg var løs på forrige, men den var jo helt lugn. Brisk would be an above the tee, though, as you have a little chance of shot for a deuce. Nei, jeg ga mye. Jeg var løs ut når jeg har en hørs på hvor mye jeg... Men nei, du ser jo hvor vi skal. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be above the tee now. I think that's what Brad was trying to do. I just heard him say to Mark, I'm just falling out of the hack. It's pretty pretty quick <laughs> stuff. Or short. Wow. On this spot, he's... Linja bra, linja bra. Linja bra. Linja bra mot T-line. Här är det. Kör om vi kan. Linja, åh, mot Köln. Linja bra. Åh, mot Köln. Linja, mot Köln. Linja. 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 Just great. Oh, look at the angle of those two, Charlie. You want to have it on that center line side. It's fantastic, Erling. All four shots from Mark Nichols, you know, back eight, which is exactly where they called it. And looking for some confidence as uh, they head off now. They'll play in a tour stop as many of the teams will here. They'll go on to Camrose and then back home. Norway will have a camp in uh, Japan prior to going to Pyeongchang. But that's only if I'm back button back four. Yeah. He's had to go out just a little bit wider. Yeah, yeah it's it's there. There. Yeah. No, I it should be a little less. If we're all there. Might need it. Should we're be a little need less. It. Pretty close. Oh, it's good. Should be a little less than the last. It's pretty Whoa. good. It's good. Whoa. Back button. Back button. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to need it. We're going to need a little So interesting. Thrower thinks it's less. Whoa. Brushes like it. Back button. And right to the lid. They're dialed in. We're carrying over again. Well, let's just go back uh, to 2016 Las Vegas and the closest finish ever in the Continental Cup. John Morris skipping in a mixed team event. Skins. Allison Bottinger holding the, uh, the brush. And that was for the win. 30 and a half to 29 and a half. In front of the sellout crowd at the Orleans and now trying to win a sixth straight and in control here up by five as we're into the last couple of events. Thirty and a half is still the, uh, the magic number. They play for a lot more points, a little more complicated calculator kind of event when it first started. <laughs> now it's 30 and a half. Back to Should they be tied at 30 apiece, then we would have a draw to the button for the cup. All there, all there, all there. Good shot. So we go to the seventh. We have uh, two carryovers. Two full points. It's a must have or a force here. A carryover again for Olds Root. How about that? Patterson. Six. 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 I do find it interesting because we're, you know, we're all okay. sneaking peeks here. That all the games are more complicated than I thought. I just really thought they 
the world would play it up and down and I, try to. I can't agree more. They uh, they got to be careful here. They obviously can't give away much more. You and I are really in sync right now. Right? This is <laughs> this is kind of good. That's scary, actually. <laughs> That's, <right. laughs> That's really frightening. <laughs> Oh, take that, Tim okay. Chang, with you to think about it every once in a while. I will think about you. In your bed, with yeah. your popcorn, watching me. Watching you. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Sit on the bench. Yeah. All right, guys. Just fighting the host. All right, you got to go. Get some separation here. He's double peeling it. Go, 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 go. Shapers. Okay. Yeah, I'm just through that one. So at the moment, World is hitting the one. They need two, of course, for the two points. Big, big, big two points. Well, you see that uh, North America is hitting the two behind cover. And it is... Nicholas Adin. And it's a full point available, trying the angle raise. And runs it by. Oh, almost. You know, it's interesting. Did you not think he could have maybe played a, a real thin slash to get them, or were they hidden too much? They were hidden. They are totally hidden. They really put a good guard on it. Now they're on the brink here now. Win. Or you retain it, whatever. Yeah, I know. But. Yeah, half a point away. He heard Brad Gushu when the Glant missed the guard. He heard him say, oh, they're going to play the double peel. Why aren't they? You know, open this up. You've got a really nice angles down there. You're not going to give up the steal and you stay alive. You can't give up another pointer. The only way to do it is leave these guards out there for Gushu. Oh, well, we saw that same thing two ends ago. Yeah. It's like they get kind of on one path and then switch gears. We gotta clean it up a little bit. Thank you, send the guard. What about this yeah, one just, onto I mean, the one in the top of the rings? We got hammer. Onto this? Not bad. Like right now, that middle one's not. Okay, we don't like. Let's make a call. Watching their other teammates. <laughs> this one, straight back. Look at this. Try to stick it there. So. Wait. Hey. Uh -huh. yeah, so Rachel Holman, the uh, applause was for that Yellowstone centerline back of the button. And it appears if you uh, quietly tap that back, that would give them the redstone brings it into play. And that would be for the skin and of a full point for Sylvana Tiranzoni. Brett Gallant and runs it by. So this is to uh, okay. 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 for the point, okay. or at least Whoa. if you sit right in front of it nine, nine, nine. Nine. and don't move it far okay. enough, you'll get the uh, the carryover. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Two it is for the point. Well, that keeps the world team alive for the moment. to be a bit of trouble for Gushu here. One lonely yellow. Freeze one down on there. I mean, for Gushu, it's get the get the force, the get the carry over, get hammer ball. back. Yeah, and if you put the rock in the same spot, it'd be he's going to real good. He's trying to steal, though. He really is. Same, 
That wins the, the whole thing with a steal man. here, yeah. Give up two, who cares? Line's good. We should be close. Wait only right now. Close. Pretty good, right? Yep. Yep. Sweet yep. Place. Back button. What? Yep. You got to go. Right yes. Yep. Got to go. Hard. Nichols. Hard line. Walker Gallant. Hard. Where is it? Hard. Top button. Back button. Hard. 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 It was perfect in the end. Wait. Bakom till a hacke av av. Den farten du följer har kommit till näs. Insidan med. Okay. Bakom. Näs hacke bra för att ha den dubbeln där. Okay. Thought it was made at the. Insidan. Bar bar en backline. Ah. Happy with that? That's where it gets really interesting, is it? You know, team. North America only needs one more skin, but there's only four skins available on all these sheets. The other two sheets are into their eight ten. Eleven. 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 Nine. Eleven. Whoa! 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 Push it to the back edge. What? The point is a good shot. It is a good shot, yeah. He's he having an easy shot right now, to get rid of this how, right now. How does he get that out right oh. now? This one probably. Same old turn drive. He hammers, gets something hammered onto that pretty thick. It'll pull enough. Right here. Brad, I think the rock I just threw is finishes a little better than this Kay. one, so I think the same shot. The other option, Mark, we could throw one up here. That doesn't do much. We got to make a decision, Brad. I like this. Same weight, or do you think this rock slides better? I'd say they're pretty similar. This is going to be a little wider, so. Should be good, though. Yeah, they'd have to go out a little further than Mark's first. Wait on right now. Felt there. Weight's good. Foot more. A little heavy. Room. Well then. Off, Brad. It's close. Whoa. It's good. Oh, it's good. A lot it's of heavy. line right now. A lot of line. Okay, we're not heavy now. A lot Weight's of nice. line. Here's... Top four. So starting yeah, to die. Back. Take it back. Because they had to go over. Take him in off here. Hard, 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 hard. Hard. Didn't, don't, it didn't don't move jump. much. Hard. Oh, you got hard, 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 hard. A little more. Okay. And to T line for second shot. Remember right now it's a one point skin. Team World needs to score two. What a freeze, Luma. Cora Force stays alive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 Vi kjørte ganske lite på forrige dag, men... Ja, men du har fått bra finish inn her. Han sto veldig mye, han da. Ja, men... Ok. Bra, bra. Forrige var gjennom. Takk for deg. Ja. Sju! Seks, sju! Hva var det vi tar langt, altså? Linja er bra. Sju! Linja er bra. Pedersen spots. Staying with it all the way here. Can they get across the nose and inside? No, they're just going to try to block this off. Turner didn't have a lot of handle on that one. It really went sideways. Okay, the red red goes onto that yellow, I believe. Where do you want ice here? Middle. But just nothing close to what he was throwing. <laughs> Too bad he still can run back to center, so. I can go with a little less, Mark. Middle. Middle. Mine won't curl. 
That looks even like a lot. Look at that photo. Look at that. Nina Roth. What a loss. And the world bench. Realizing they need to get all the points here just to uh, force a draw to the button to decide the cup. Five points still on the table. Higher the better. Line's good. Two points here in this seventh with the carryover. Let it work. Five, six, and the point here. We're mic'd over. Clean. Close. Yep. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Good, good, good. Shut Shot. Nice weight. Oh, there we go. Brad, we've already used our timeout, hey? Have we? I think. Yeah, you already did, yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, we did early on. So just keeping in mind the, the clock. Oh. Both teams a little bit of hurry up, and it's not the kind of thing you want to hurry up at this point in time. No, the angles can get pretty complicated. No. Do you think there's any way? I'd like to choke this a little. Go around the guard. Gucci's going to guard again here, Rusty. Do you think there's any way to get in there for a? Uh, a second point for World or not? I think there is. You'd have to probably miss the guard. They've got a double tap on the Reds, and they've got to get to the inside of that yellow. And Brad can take them both away by just guarding a piece of it. But I don't think Olsford will be too upset that he's forced or he's still alive. Yeah, it's the carryover. He just has to steal the next end. Justin, Justin. Oh, it's got to curl. Top 12. Yeah, we're fully in. You've got to be short of that or else. He's going to line it up. Yep, bounce it then. Bounce it. Yep. Oh, Mark. this is heavy. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, now there's a way, Vic. Oh. Uh, sorry, guys. Could you hammer it and make the yellow double? Might be easier you than just a soft there. weight one. Yeah, you could. Right over there, that goes out. Even if you lose this one, you're sitting a million. You want to make sure you get to nose, don't you? If you hit a high side, would it drag onto that top redstone? Yeah, it probably could tick it, Cheryl, but it's still going out of that yellow, isn't it? It could, yeah, maybe a little. I think the only danger is if you go red, red on the yellow and you hit enough of your shot rock that you go across the top of the yellow. It looks pretty natural to me. Yeah, nose. The thing I see going wrong is that if it drags onto the red a lot, you might not get both yellows, but it looks looks pretty natural yeah, to me. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking, that if you hit it mm -hmm. too far high side, you might tick that red. Or red to the top four, you yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a nose is good. Makes that double, I think, pretty naturally. I'm with you. I think this is way easier than just the oh, tap. Yeah. You can throw any type of weight at this and make it hit. I don't think you can miss it, to be honest. There you go. A little time trouble for Gushu. They're running around there a little bit. I think he just jumped the hack and threw it. It was such an automatic for him. Threw it way deep. Right now he has the yep. Yep. carryover oh. point. Oh. Thomas oh. Holsrud, oh. Sva, oh. backs oh. right oh. off. Rattle around oh. and oh. sit hand. Yeah, automatic indeed. Oh. Oh. And that is a, a big two points. Keeps North America a half point away. Keeps the world alive. And now we'll go to the final end. All the games are into the eighth. Three point difference. The world needs to win them all to force a draw to the button to decide the cup.
And we'll quickly go over now to the game between Kui and Edine in the mixed skins. One point available. And the so last nice. rock so does belong to Nicholas Adine and Team World playing Red Storms. Dean tried the freeze there and they swept it all the way down. He had perfect weight to freeze it and stay on it, but it just overcurled a hair, rolled out in the open. This happens, you talk about it every year. You, you know, you only need that other half point and you think, oh, it's gonna happen. Well, well now we're down to three ends, one in each sheet. And North America to win has to win one of those three. No, it's the same, but this is my seven. Okay. So I th you know what you're doing. I think it's fine. Yeah, you got it. Okay, draw the button. Looks like red shot. Final stone for right. North American Cooey. Brent Lang picks him up. Renora Westcott is there. Westcott who throws the lead stones for Michelle Englott, and Englott is the third on this. Friend Lang, who plays oh. second, of oh. course, for Kui and is oh. off to Pyeongchang. Whoa, right off, right off, right off, right off, right off, right off. Ah, sorry. Sorry, it looks so much lighter than this first one. Almost in a stunt. There's a chance for this because yeah. that guard yeah. is really, yeah. really yeah. long. It's yeah. just yeah. over the hog line. Can you kick that uh, yeah. left hand yellow yeah. far yeah. enough though? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Timeout has been called. And yeah. Keep in mind, you don't have to get too yeah. near. Yeah. Just to stay alive. Yeah, forced to draw to the button. Stay alive here. This is a tough shot just to just to get your single. Yeah. I don't think that yellow's going anywhere. Remember, there's a long guard out there, so you can't throw much weight. So you have to kick this over a little bit. You have to kick that out to get two. You've got to kick it out there. I think you'd need a lot of weight. If you cracked it perfectly in the crotch to move them just far enough. That's maybe what you're trying to do here. For your one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I only I can only see a one out of this scenario. Yeah, I agree. Nicholas, it's the exact same shot he just threw. He, that red one that's there was an outturn and it overcurled on the left hand yellow and skidded right by it. So same shot, but you, sh you can't be any lighter either. This is a tough shot. So think you're deep samma, or? Oh. Very tough. To keep the world's chances at winning the cup alive. Needs to score the single here and uh, force a draw to the button. Nicholas Adin. And it has the attention of everyone else on the ice as well at the moment. Magnus Nockenhauer. Marcus Rano. This is about just cracking it right in the middle. Trying to hold the line and moving them far enough. Taking this down, oh, how good is this? No. Oh, goodness! What a shot to keep the world alive. What a great throw. You got the weight of the world on your shoulders making yes. that. Everybody stopped to watch. No pun intended. Kind of. <laughs> Beautiful. Wanted to throw it harder, right? But you couldn't. No. Really good line call too. Oh, yeah, it was. True. It was true. It was as good. He, he literally did crack it, both stones, same time. <laughs> that was just fantastic. So now they'll have a draw to the button there for that point. So now over to Chide. Rachel Holman just made a double peel and took off the buried shot rock. And she has Holman the last rock, so looking to score two final rock on the way for Sylvana Tiranzoni. And will make it go away, and she is sitting second and third. So this will be a, a draw to full eight. 
to force again a draw to the button. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> this just can't get any closer. So the world is managing to to keep themselves alive here. Emma Miskew has her brush down just inside the edge of the eight. Easier Final eight. stone. Full eight foot Whoa. is what Easy. Holman Easy. needs here to force Five, the six. carry six, over and the draw and for that seven. final point. Okay, clean up. Mine's fine. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Seven, eight. We're there. They clean it. It looks really good. Cool. And good it is. You don't want to tuck that away right now. She may need that to win the point in the draw to the button. So we're carrying over there. We're carrying over in the mixed game. A little more ice, eh? Yeah. How much more do you want? As Continental Cup. Still in play. Three points separating the five time defending champions, North America, and the world trying to win their first since 2012 in Langley, BC. Now, we'll go back to the mixed game, and Nicholas Adine will throw first. He basically just threw it, Cheryl. A little bit of an advantage there, knowing the path. Two feet off of it. Yeah. 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 Sarah McManus and the brush Hells down inte. just outside the eight foot. Oh, Now some late licks. Late licks, and they will cover the pin. <laughs> Two brilliant shots in a row. So they measure from the outside of the four, the edge of the four. Brilliant golf curling shot. Here. The judgment. Oh. And the official. Okay. That's the rethrow. <laughs> You wish. And they'll go to the yeah. back edge as well. Oh, just to get it from two sides. Whoops, a daisy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're not hurt. <laughs> Interesting here. Where the two brushes were. Yeah. He. Edine had his on the think, outturn the side. Line outside stand, the right? eight. Line and stand. Michelle Englot on the intern side was middle of the eight. Cooing. Really Lang. Bad. Westcott. Got to cover the pin too. Is this better? Sit. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, no, it's I don't over. think so. Oh, man. No, I don't think so. How do you say over swap when it's an inch? And Fred Lang knew it as he, as he slapped his stone. So there's stone. There's the man. world stone. There you go. There's the difference. And so the crucial point will go. 
to Team World. Oh, they're within two. That looked when Lang was dusting that coming in, it looked like it was going to grind down and be a hair short. Just kept going. So now, draw to the button on the women's skins game on sheet A. Rachel just threw it. She overcurled the pin because she had to, to get by the corner guard. She's going to take a hair more ice, but they should have a very good idea what this lane's going to do. Miss Q brushed down right on the edge of the eight. Lisa Weagle, hey. left. Keep your brooms on it. Joanne Courtney, Eli, right. Yes. Keep your brooms down, they said. And here they go. And here she is, right behind. Coleman. Got to drag it there, ladies. You got to get it to the button now. Think about it. Oh, I don't know. Pull the string. And she did. Really curls. Just touching the top of the eight. <laughs> Sylvana Tiranzoni in a. These two teams, of course, will uh, both be in Pyeongchang. Ten of the 12 teams in this year's Continental Cup are Olympic representatives. Well, they played each other the very first game of this event. And it was a struggling home in that evening as Tiran's only won nine to three. Just couldn't get a handle on the rocks. If Rachel just got inside the path there, Cheryl. They weren't too worried about it early, but the first one she threw was wider, slid better. Well, and it's full building, and the slide path can get can come down a little bit. And Joe even said it caught her by surprise how much it curled. So, basically. Half a stone in the eight foot for the point. Sylvana Tiranzoni. Oh boy, is she over. Cook this maybe. That front end is backed right off. Albrecht, Neuenschwander, Segris is calling line. Now it starts to die on her. And there it is as she gives a little fist pump. And it'll settle at the back four. And that will mean another point. So they're within one, with one point to play for when we come back to London. Well, this is the kind of finish you would hope for in a Continental Cup. We're down to a one point game, one point left on the table and it's here in the eighth. The world has kept themselves alive with draws to the button to take points in the women's game, in the mixed game, and so now the men's game remains. It is Team North America and Brad Guju that does have the last rock. He has the, the hammer, but it is the world that is sitting the two. Yeah, I think that should be close. Interesting play here. Don't expect it to curl too much. Trying to uh, give himself a chance, I believe, to get to the carryover. Tough to get both reds this way, but it should open up this outturn side. Yep. Yep. Gucci yep. first. Yeah. Galant hard, Brett, first. Hard, now. Hard, 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 Walker hard, joins him. Hard, Nichols calling line. Hard, hard, go, go, Run this go. back. Angle it back off one. Oh, and they'll only get the one. Oh. And that stone still covered by that long guard. And that is the steel point. In fact, they are sitting too as time ticks away. And that's a very good steel point. Can Gucci get shot off the back one? I don't know, Russ. Like, you'd have to roll pretty with weight. Roll flat. Yeah, with weight is right. You can't just smidge off it with hack, no. can you? Roll deep, so with weight, you probably could. 
til å legge en identisk samme sted, så har han ikke noe. Han vil ikke kopi. Bare jeg var lang. Just threw it too. I assume they're going top eight, just guard part of that. With 22 seconds remaining, Oldrude with his last. Right now in great position to win this and force the draw to the button for the Continental Cup. Oh, and down on top. They need one. They sit in three. Yikes. Anywhere on the pin for Gushu. Oh. They get the perfect stagger Thomas has. It makes it even tougher. Could have kept it in inch higher but it, it's it's it, there's enough curl here that it, it is possible you wouldn't want to be throwing it well they kind of got caught in between because then they went to tap it a little yeah, bit and make the bun yeah. button smaller theory tap it a hair farther it's hard to criticize that shot but <laughs> gucci will be close this is his favorite shot it's the same shot he threw to win the briar he loves that in turn draw draw wait to see yeah just give us a couple feet last time we go Probably more up to the brushers than Brad to get that pinpoint accuracy. So final stone right now, it's the uh, stolen point. To make it 30 all, and then we would draw the button for this year's cup. So now, go land. And Walker, Nichols calling line. Trying to wrap it around and grab as much as the button as they can see. Walker, go land. Got to dig in, catch it. No, oh, it'll slide too far. And so now we are tied at 30. <laughs> this is exciting. That's incredible. <laughs> what a comeback. And for Thomas Olsrud, who's game really was nowhere look at him now i guess you just show up when you're needed then oh boy 88 percent for thomas How many? So, so the one rock. So the sorry captains sure will meet now with the head official. You want to put up Thomas? Are we going on B? We can go. No. Okay, so gentlemen, this is the way we're going to work the uh, the Continental Cup tied after 30. Uh, you can pick any four players that are in this competition. They can throw on any sheet that you want them to throw on. And whoever had hammer in the eighth end, which I believe was Team North America, they will throw first. No, it's the last. You played on this sheet. The last one. Yeah, but we're not playing it on that. Doesn't matter. North America will throw first. Any four players you want on any sheet you want. We'll let TSN set up. Then Team World, you follow them with any four players you want on any sheet you want. Sheet C. You want sheet Charlie? No. 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 Do we get to select? You yes. Can, you yes. Can do yes. Sheet any, any four yeah. players, any sheet. Yeah. Uh, can we get Frederick over for a second? Yeah. And we'll just, yeah. Uh, we'll get a hold Absolutely. You can, yeah. go, you can go talk. Yeah. So just we get to choose the sheet, and you guys get to choose your sheet, or is yeah. it on the same sheet? No. Nope. They can choose a sheet. Four players. If you they want to have someone players. throw on sheet C, and you want to have someone throw on sheet A or B, that is fine. Yeah. We'll just move but you're not making us on the same sheet. No. Okay. No. Not so, making. Okay. I mean, you but can. You can follow. That's interesting. So now think about this. First of all, about the ice and the most consistent sheet. What are you picking, Cheryl? Which one are you going on? No, I'm probably looking at. It depends who throws, because it's what sheet if you were on. Okay, well, if Nicholas Adine just threw a, a, a beautiful okay, so draw to the lid, you want to be. I would. Do it. Be. No, but they can then choose. They can go and put broad in sheet C. They would go and she, they, they could then choose their sheet and pay them. David, David, David. 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 David.
They don't know anything yet. No. Hey, let's bring them over. Nicholas! Nicholas! Okay. Should be altered. He's just do the button there twice. So, so that you know, you look at that last draw. Brent Lang maybe a little overbrush on Cooey Stone. Is that the difference in this cup right now? It's hard. It's, you know, you threw it 146 feet, one inch. You know, like it, it uh, it's hard to criticize it, but sure. Why wouldn't you just pick the, the guy on sheet B that threw the last two draws? So you've got Cooey and you've got Adin and you use their brushers. They judged it already, the exact team. The only argument there is Gushu did the same thing, so does Oldsworth. I think it's either sheet B or sheet C for yeah. both uh, for both uh, teams. I'm guessing it's Gushu. Uh, yeah, intern. they're warming up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, either Thomas Olsrud or Nicholas Adin on sheet B would be my guess. Oh, I think it would be Adin on, on B, would it not? He threw it there. Be a little careful with the ice sitting like this. It could get a little quicker. So the North America has made their decision oh, yeah, and Brad yeah, Guju yeah. will throw it. Yeah. It's interesting now, yeah, the world nice. could very easily go and pick up an entire team. They don't have to use the four that were on that sheet. Very true, but it, they know that path. That would be a scary thing to do. Yeah, the, the brushers know it, they judged it. Yeah, Walker and Gallant doing a good thing out there. They're, they're keeping that side of the sheet warm for Gushu. So they will play on the sheet that they just left Gushu to throw. So the cup still available. Looking like Ols Root Gushu to me. Well, it's meant to be B, yeah. And then... Ladies and gentlemen, they have made it in their choice. Going for Team World will be Thomas Makes Olsrud. sense to put Olsrud on the same sheet. He yeah. just threw it as well. Yeah. I think it's changed at all. It's quite possible. He, he gets a look at these shoes. Well, we talked earlier about how well Guju Brad had been playing. Don't even mind us. Despite the disappointments. And how Thomas Olsrud loves the show. <laughs> and here they are, right in the middle of the show in London. Maybe important, more importantly for uh, both teams, it's the brushers. It's, uh, that's where the pressure is here. Brad Go, 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 go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Boy, he pulled it off. He Hard knows boys. it. And they My want God. him right now. So he's got Walker. He's got Galat. Go. Here they Hard. go. They like the line, but they got to get it there. Hard now, boys. here they go. go. Nichols out as well. Hard. Could this be a repeat Hard. of that prior draw? Oh, it's Hard. light. They go. need to drag go. this. Go. Everybody Hard. trying to take it as far go. as they can. Hard. Drag Hard. it down go. as far go. as they can. Every inch Sorry, into the top edge of the floor. Pulled the I string on it. Absolutely shocked it went that far. Sorry, guys. That was a three, no, maybe I a four out of his hand. So now you know it's just, it's just full four is what he needs. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you what, it hasn't slowed down at all. Hit your breath through that extremely soft. I, I'm with you. I was surprised they got it anywhere near the rings. So 61.2 centimeters. Now the okay has been given. It's quick down there.
to win the Continental Cup. A lot Closer than 61.2. Now they've backed right off. Pedersen, Swa. Nothing yet. 61-2, full four is what he needs. It has to start digging in. 61-2, start digging in. And it will go to four. In dramatic fashion. Team North America will win it. On a draw to the button for a sixth straight year. North America celebrates the most dramatic Continental Cup we've had here in London. The 2018 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. The 2018 World Financial Group Continental Cup of Curling is brought to you by Ford of Canada. Proud partner with Curling Canada for over 20 years. By Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. And by Home Hardware. Here's how. Well, what can you say? The game story? A draw to the button to determine this year's Continental Cup winner and it's brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official copy of Curling Canada. A very happy coach Rick Lang is with Brian. Rick, I know we like drama, but man, that was pretty close. How does it feel to win six in a row? Incredible. Uh, we're very fortunate to win this one, obviously. But, you know, when I used to play with Al Hackman, we said he had the Manitou on his side and it would always pull out a win for us. So maybe Hackman being here with us tonight gave us that Manitou win. Brad Gushu's never won this thing, and now he puts that on the resume, maybe fitting that he finished it off. Yeah, it's uh, tremendous. You know, like, it, it got a little tricky. The ice sat for five minutes before anybody went on. It can make a big difference, and I think we polished up their path for them, and then theirs went through. I'm shocked, It's uh, but it's exciting. It was great for the crowd, great for the fans at home, I believe. Six in a row, Captain. Go celebrate. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Congratulations to uh, Team North America, they are the Continental Cup winners again. And now, gentlemen, I'd like to come up with Rick Williams with the group to present the Team North America with the Con Trophy. Could we please call upon Captain Al Hackner and Coach Rick Lane to step forward and receive the cup from Rick Williams from the World Financial Group. Now it is great to see them together again, of course. Hackner, the Iceman, two-time Canadian World Champion, Rick Lang, his longtime partner, the three-time Canadian Champion, won the Another title with Bill Tetley and both of them. Canadian Curling Hall of Fame members, congratulations, Team North America. Our time in London has come to an end as another Continental Cup is in the record books. Every year, this event allows us to watch the very best in and curling and have, have a lot of fun Alec doing it. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was on hand, cheering on the world's finest curlers before they head off to sport's biggest stage. Ten of the 12 teams competing here will travel to Pyeongchang and the Winter Olympics. The laid-back atmosphere this week will be replaced with the most intense games they ever will play.
Canada enters the Olympics as defending champions in both men's and women's curling. Fans in this country will be cheering for Rachel Holman and Kevin Cooey as they represent the Maple Leaf and defend our goal. Of course, we hope our teams will win. However, in true Canadian fashion, we also wish the best of luck to our competition as well. The teams from other countries are just so easy to like. And, like most of the curling world, they're simply good people. So if our teams don't finish at the top, we'll be happy for those that do. So thank you, London, for hosting us over the last few days. We've had a blast. And have fun living out those Olympic dreams. We'll be watching from half a world away. Season of Champions will now continue next Saturday from Shawinigan, Quebec, the New Holland Canadian Juniors. Semi-final Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So congratulations, Team North America, as they win a sixth straight Continental Cup here in London. Our thanks to everyone, particularly the volunteers. These events don't happen without you. Our thanks to a wonderful crew of dedicated professionals. So till we talk with you again, thank you for joining us. The World Financial Group Continental Cup is here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN.